Hey there YouTubers, how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna do a video today and I'm gonna do a uh, video on how to put the uh, 54, yeah, 54 inch uh, flail mower, mop flail mower on the uh, 1952 Farm All Cub. It, uh, I, you know, I had to put this bar back on because for storage I took it off, so it's only four bolts. But, um, whoops, sorry there. Um, I already kind of jumped my gun and put the uh, pulleys on there, the idler pulleys on there, and the this pulley I always leave on there. So, um, yeah. But you know, I didn't put on the tensioner or any of the other lifting supplies here yet. So, uh, yeah. So I apologize for that. It's not really that windy outside. It's just moderately. So you might get a little gust every once in a while. So, uh, I'm just, in advance, I'm just gonna apologize for that in advance, if it's windy at all. So, uh, first things first, we have to get this bar over there, and this bar hooked up there, where you can see those two bolts sticking out, and we have to horse that huge thing into place. So, I'm gonna set you guys back Maybe not back at all, maybe like right here. Yeah, that's good, I think. I'm also gonna take this little clevis off that I forgot I had on there for the lifter, so I'll have to do it later. Frickin' be a lawn roller, for God's sakes. Boy, I just scratched the ground, but... saw that you know you see them bolts right there that's what I have to do it makes it convenient for to sit down when you're working You gotta get these bolts on there. And after this, we gotta get the uh, belt tensioner on there. Which is probably the second hardest thing to do. Nice and tight. Oh. 
Today, uh, by the way, is Easter. Easter day. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I'll upload this video whenever I get around to it. So, uh, yeah, next step, like I said, is right there, that tensioner. And it has to go in there, but I'm going to zoom back out. And you also got to grab your belt. That's freaking million miles long. I mean, look at that thing. It's almost as long as the freaking tractor. It's, I know it's wider than the tractor, I can tell you that much. Yeah, see, it's wider than the tractor. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing on now. Let's get this one over in place. All right. Around there. This gets bolted up here in the center. Bolts going up from the underside, and they're a square head, square head um, bolt, so you don't have to worry about them spinning. So you only need one wrench, and it is a uh, one inch. Do. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can find it. I forgot to put that on there too. I made a uh, hitch plate. That I'd like to bolt on there too, so I could still tow around a trailer or something like that with the mower on. I have this uh, huge one here, but I don't want to bolt that one up. Made one that's like half the size of that. Made it uh, just you know a piece of plate steel. I think this is it right here. Worst comes to worst, I can just use the big one. I guess I'm just gonna have to use the big one. It already has a ball on it, so who cares? Ugh. Now this is made out of a piece of. I'm assuming it's. 3 8 inch piece of uh, stainless and uh, my father made this for me and uh, I used it for when I did a parade last year I was towing a float and I needed a tighter swing on the tractor so I could take corners better so I uh, my dad machined me this plate that I, could, that I could have for that. So I can make tighter turns and everything. Ah, come on. Probably ought to oil those bolts a little bit so they come loose easier. But that's a, something for...
First, these are those old fashioned square headed bolts. I do with some longer bolts for this. These so are here on the short side. Which I don't think these are any longer. I'll have to get some longer ones. I'm just going to slap two more in here. These ones are going to be nice and solid. And I can, this ball is just on their hand tight, so if I ever wanted to tow a hay wagon or something like that, it would be right there and I wouldn't really have to go very far. I guess now I have two ball mounts on my tractor. Bottom one spinning. Now, I'm gonna zoom you guys in here a little bit better. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta get, you gotta loosen these bolts on here. I think that's a smaller wrench. You gotta loosen up these bolts here on the uh, belt tightener. Come on. Am I going the wrong way? This is tight on here because uh, it's what's holding your belt tension. All right, nice. Yeah, it moves. Now what? Uh, now what you have to do is. Sorry, I tilt you guys up. And I should move you guys back down. Sorry about this. Is uh, now, you see that pulley up there on the, I got a little bit. All right, you see that pulley right there. You gotta take the big long belt. You gotta fish it through there. Gotta put it around that belt. Now, you put it, uh, after I forgot, you put a half twist in it. This, and then how to get it. It's been a year. I don't know, a year, a couple months. Oh, crap. Chipping over these bolts to say here from that plate. Alright, 
Now it's there. Now you gotta pull it in here. Pull out this big old pin. Okay. What about my knee here? I cut my pants open. I gotta push this thing forward. And uh, line it up here in the uh, thing. Alright, put the pin back in. Now, pull your belt up and just roll it over the thing. Now before we get too long, too far, what I'm going to do is uh, send you guys back out here. Oh. Okay, apparently the uh, leg just wanted to come all the way, all the way out. Is now I'm gonna test the uh, direction that the blade is blades are spinning to make sure they're going in the right direction. But I think you have to have a half twist in it. That's right, I gotta put a half twist in the belt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen that belt up, pop it off, put a half twist, back on. Now, you gotta tighten it by pulling it. You can put a fair bit of tension on it, but at the same time, you gotta tighten these bolts up. Tighten each and every one of these. Check your belt tension. Now, I'm gonna fire it up real quick and do a uh, test run to make sure that everything's running right. Alright, now you gotta put the lifter on, which involves these bolts right here. It only involves one bolt, but you need the other hole too. Alright, 
Now, you gotta put this piece on. Right there. Now you gotta take this piece here. This goes like this. See, where's the notch? Because there's a notch on here you have to line up with the uh, thing. Now this goes up in here. Now I'm gonna run over and grab a uh, one inch socket. And now you just take your uh, chain here and uh, slide it over that thing, and there you go. Your hydraulics are all hooked up. Now, because I had that one bolt there, now I'm just going to run over here and uh, stuff it somewhere on here where it's not going to be in the way. Make sure these won't fall off. Just make sure they're moderately tight. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, that's that. Things on. Fire it up real quick. So there it goes. Now I'm going to uh, grease it. Grease all the uh, grease things on here. Right here, check. All right, it's coming out. Uh, that one there. There's another one there on the lifter. Oh, crap. It's coming out. It's that one. Now there's two here. One down here inside this, uh, Oh, that's on the other side. Whoops, forgot it. There's another one here on the other bearing. Oops. All right, there's that. And I completely forgot, on this side, on the end here, there's a, a grease thing. Pretty nasty looking grease in there. Alrighty, let's go try it out. There's a couple weeds back here that's growing up that uh, I'll mow over. down so it's sitting on the roller.
pop, my belt popped off. Normally doesn't happen. I think it's a little bit better too because I think it was maybe a bit on the hair and the tight side. Let's try it out now. not much now to mow but when there is I will videotape it so I, I just um, did the disc the garden again and uh, we fixed up the asparagus and lightly tilled it put it in gear, it won't roll away. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's how you put on a uh, flail, mop flail mower on a 52 Farmall Cub. Rate, comment, and subscribe.